arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Sir, is this totally... is none of your business, sir. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Sir, you're not dealing with a criminal here. We have credible information that Dr. Kara Castillo has been traveling under a fake passport under the alias of, um... Carolyn Finn. Carolyn Finn. Ring a bell? Sir, I'm, I'm the, the chief of staff here at the hospital. Maybe we would go down to my office if there's, something, if there's a fine or something that we'd be delighted to... If these allegations are true, she'll be deported. Deported? Hold on a second. Sir, sir, please. They're here, okay? They can do it and they will. So for her sake, do us all a favor. Don't do anything to piss them off. Because if they send her back to Mexico before we're ready, she's as good as dead. Are you trying to scare me? Because it's not working. I belong here. Passport fraud is a serious charge, doctor. Now, either you talk to us here, or we'll escort you off the property and do it someplace else not so cheery. You know what? I have valid paperwork that allows me to work here in the United States. That's Kara Castillo. That's correct. Well, then who is this Carolyn Finn I keep hearing so much about? You know, I wonder what reason you'd have to conceal your true identity from the United States government. Don't answer that, OK? Don't answer any other questions until we get you a lawyer here. Tap. What's happening? I don't know. Federal government showed up out of nowhere and that's threatening to deport a care back to Mexico. We all know what our odds are if they do that. But what about your plan? Your plan to convince the drug guys that she's dead so that it's safe for her to go wherever she wants? It doesn't matter. It's not going to help her now. We need time to set that up. Kara's in a bunch of trouble. Please, wait. Just give me a sec. You can't do this. Please. Kara's past, seeing what I could find. I mean, maybe I set up some, some bells or whistles no, somewhere. This is not your fault. I appreciate the vote of confidence, but if they send her back south of the border... Before... No, you are not to blame for this. Why? Amanda, is there something you want to tell me? Amanda, things are moving kind of quickly here. If you got something to get off your chest, now is the time to do it. All Kara had to do was tell the truth. But instead, it was one lie after another. And, and then I find out that she still loves Jake. And I love him. I trust him. I know how much he loves me. But, but I, I just. The things are moving kind of quickly here. If you got something to get off your chest, now is the time to do it. All Kara had to do was tell the truth. But instead, it was one lie after another. And, and then I find out that she still loves Jake. And I love him. I trust him. I know how much he loves me. But, but I, I just wanted her out of our lives. It was me. I called immigration. Oh, God. Kara kept saying how she wanted to leave Pine Valley so bad, so I decided to make it happen. I did not know about the drug guys in Mexico. Amanda, Kara could die. Yes, I know something about immigration. You can get the feds off Kara's back. Jake, the way you've explained this to me, these are very serious charges. Yes, Nina understands she can't be sent away. I will do everything I can. So I need to ask you again, Dr. Castile. Thank you. Uh, Bye. More questions, OK? Because her lawyer is here. Meet your lawyer. This is. Johnson, Hi, Karen. Jack Montgomery. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry it's under these circumstances. <laughs> Gentlemen, everything goes through me now, so if you don't mind, bring me up to speed. I, uh, I talked to your brother. He's in surgery. He's hung up. But it's okay. I got this. Everything's gonna be... Everything's gonna be fine, okay? You okay? It's gonna be fine. Is it? Yeah, Jackson's the best. Okay, because, um... They've moved beyond illegal immigration. They're calling me a terrorist. I, that, 
Come on, that's insane. Carrie is a doctor. She's dedicated her entire life to saving I people. I would certainly like to see the evidence that supports that accusation. We've done our homework. Dr. Castillo, a.k.a. Finn, has been through every hot spot on the globe. Afghanistan, Pakistan, Yemen. I worked for Doctors Without Borders, and those are the places that they needed me. Phony passports, constant travel, volatile regions. It fits the profile. Jackson, this is ridiculous. Come on. Look, a fake name on a passport is a far cry from being a card-carrying member of Al-Qaeda. You guys are making a hell of a leap here. Well, there's more. There's a significant amount of time that we can't account for the good doctor's whereabouts. She disappeared for months. A training camp, maybe. Yeah. There's the dates. Nice. Well, no, well, this is this is right at the time that we well we went our separate ways in Africa. Africa, honey, just you were reassigned, right? So just tell these guys where you where you went, where you were reassigned to. What? What? I should have told you. Kara, if you're planning on telling anybody anything, maybe you should tell me first. <laughs> you should have told me what? I'm a cancer survivor, and the, um, the time that I disappeared. What? I came out of mission, and my brother took care of me, and I was very sick. And I almost died. Yes, I wanted Kara gone, but I never meant to put her in danger. Well, now she is. She's a Mexican national. She's here illegally. If I knew someone wanted her dead, I never would have made the call. What, what, what can we do? I don't know. I have no idea. If Jake can't convince the federal government she's worth more in the United States than in Mexico, they'll deport her by the end of the day. Those people will find her. She's going to end up with a bullet in the back of her head. I just don't know what to think. I mean, it's not like you. It's not like you at all to do something like this, to go behind Jake's back. I know. To call the authorities. Selfish. It was beyond selfish. You know he's going to find out. You're going to have to tell him. I know. I know. I will. I just have to find out a way to explain it. Nothing I say is going to make what I did any better, but maybe if you just understand where my head was when I made the call. Jake and I had, had been doing so well, and all of a sudden his past walks in the door. This woman that he shared so much with, and I didn't know what to think. You know, I, she lied about things, and, and her story kept changing. I, I just wanted things back to the way that they were. It was stupid, and it was never about putting Kara in danger. It was because I did not want to lose Jake. And I was trying to protect my marriage. Your marriage? Do you know what she was willing to do for him? She saved his life. How, how do I help? I don't know. But I think you've done enough. Do me a favor, okay? Don't make any more calls to the feds. As a child, I was very sick. And out of hospitals for years. Eventually, I went into remission. My mother and my big brother were afraid that I'd be sick again, so they didn't allow me to interact with children. They never let me go play outside. I was like their little prisoner. When I became an, uh, um, an adult, they had to let me go. So I went to medical school. But they were still worried about me. So I started my own life. And I found my way to Doctors Without Borders. So you started off in Africa? The Sudan, yes. And it was the most incredible experience of my life. Finally, I wasn't the fragile little girl behind the glass. I was out in the world making a difference. I was free. 
until the cancer came back and I had to stay away. But I didn't want to. So, um, you went into hiding with your brother? That's correct. Is he an enemy of the state, too? Come on, come on, come on. You know, all Kara has ever wanted to do was to help people, okay? She fights terrorism. Every place that she went, she volunteered to go there. Places that you would never have the guts to go. Well, you know what? Why do I, I have to keep telling you to step back? You, 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 you want to do something to me? Huh? You Is that what you want? You don't want any of this. Stop. Listen. We're going to get whatever evidence you need. Okay, and it will clear her name. And at the same time, you know what's going to happen? We're going to expose the fact that you're an incompetent. All right, all right. Maybe uh, terrorism was a was a reach. Great adjustment in attitude, gentlemen. Thank you. But we still got the doctor on passport fraud, sick or not. That charge is indisputable. Well, you can't deport her because if you do, she'll be murdered. What are you talking? What about? do you not understand? You have to keep her on humanitarian grounds, otherwise her life is in danger. Within Kara's rights to ask for protection. Well, the government can offer asylum to foreign nationals who can prove they'd be in danger if they return to their homeland. So, um, who's out to get you, Dr. Castillo? The Sudan was uh, already a very dangerous place, and things got even worse uh, when the Latin American drug cartels moved in. There was this one day when these guys came rushing into our camp carrying this man who had been shot. His name was Salazar. He was the brother of a cartel leader. They asked me to operate on, on him, but I couldn't because I was in the middle of pulling out a bullet from a little boy who had been caught in their crossfire, and I was not going to walk away from that little boy. He survived. Salazar didn't, and they blamed me. And they made it very clear that I would pay for the choices that I made. Is there any particular reason why you were consorting with drug lords? She saved a child's life knowing that it would cost her her own. I mean, she shouldn't be deported. She should get a medal. Jake. No, this is ridiculous. It's, it's stupid. We, we have to do something, right? This is, this is idiotic. Well, it's up to the judge now. Well, we'll be filing immediately. I'm sure you will. Gentlemen, will you just give me the possibility that all this woman was trying to do was make the world in which we live a better place? That woman committed a serious crime. She got caught, and now she's going to have to face the consequences. You're such a waste of taxpayer dollars, Mr. Agent Man. Okay, you know what, all Dr. Right. Martin? You're going to have to leave right I'm not, now. I don't have to go anyplace. Yes, in fact, please? I think you do. Please. please. You have to do something. We got to get out of this place. Look, Look, I will file for asylum. But normally that's used to protect people against foreign governments, not individuals. However, listen, just listen to me now. If you can convince the judge that her, she is needed in Pine Valley, that she offers a, a service that is absolutely necessary, it's a long shot. But look, if, if notice how you've come to rely on her at the hospital, yes? Jackson, I've got files on every single patient she's ever worked on, whoever she's helped. I mean, again, I can't guarantee this is good. Work for us, but it's sure it's not worth a try. My laptop. It's in my laptop at my brother's Go house. Get it. Hey. Let me get you out of this, okay? Thank you. Enough, Jake. that Kara worked on at Pine Valley, and maybe I can uh, help prove to the immigration judge that she's worth, you know, keeping around as a doctor, that she's a great doctor, and that, I don't know, maybe they'll let her stay. I don't know. You think they'll go for that? I don't know. I hope so. They have to. That's it. This could be it. This could be the thing that really helps her. I'm so sorry. It could not have been easy for you to send me off to go and help her. So for that, I gotta, I gotta say, you're, you're an angel. I'm, I'm sorry. Never. 
I never meant for this to happen. I'm not finished with my client yet. Uh, Dr. Castillo is being charged with violating federal immigration law, so when I say it's time to go, that's when it is time to go. Drunk with power. Thank you, agents. Trumbull. Great, thanks. Okay, well, that's it. We're on Judge Harris's calendar. Who's Judge Harris? Judge Harris presides over special immigration courts. We're going to plead our case. You're going to plead yours. And what if she decides on deportation? Bye bye. You're on the next plane out. Let's go. Stand up. No. No, wait. Please. You can't do this. Take your hands off my fiance.